Hi and welcome everybody. It's Miss Ward again and we are already at the end of chapter two and we're ready to explain size problem. Let's go ahead and get started. So the chapter two question was, why was it daytime for Sai when it was nighttime for his grandma? Let's take a closer look at what are some of the things we did to find the answer to that question, okay? So oh, if we look over here at our wall, okay? Um, our question is, why was it daytime for Sai when it was nighttime for his grandma? And look at all of the things that we did so far in this unit. Um, we took a closer look at our book after sunset. We watched a couple videos about the shape of the earth. Um, we did some pages together about daytime and nighttime. We found day and night on the globe. We played Mount Nose, remember that? Um, and we also put stickers on our globe to talk about when it was daytime and nighttime. So we're ready. What are we ready for, you ask? Well, we're ready to use everything that we learned about daytime and nighttime to explain to our friend Sai here why it was daytime for him, but nighttime for his grandma when they talked on the phone. Let's remember first what we know so far about daytime and nighttime. What do we see in the sky when it's daytime? Can you guys remind me? What do we see? That's right, we see the sun. And what do we see in the sky when it's nighttime? That's right, again, we see the stars. So when it's daytime, the part of the earth that you're on is facing the sun, and when it's nighttime, the part of the earth that you're on is facing the stars. We know that Psy lives in a place right near me here in Seattle. So I'm gonna put, the next time you see the globe, you're gonna see that I'm gonna put a pink sticker right by Seattle on the globe. And we're gonna use our globe to see if we can figure out where his grandma lives then. So when you see me hold the globe, you need to tell me how to hold the globe so that it shows that it's daytime for Psy. Here we go. Okay, so here's the Earth out in space with our sticker here to show Psy and where he lives here in Seattle. So where would I have S Seattle point so that Psy would be experiencing daytime. Which way would Psy go so that Psy would have daytime? Yeah, that's right. Psy would be pointing that way. That would be daytime for Psy. Right? So there's Psy. There's the sun. So now Psy's having daytime. Good. Now that we know where Psy lives, and which way the globe is facing for Psy to be having daytime. Now we need to figure out where his grandma could live. Let's go back out to the stars. Here we go. I need your help with this next part too. So if that's Psy and he's pointing towards the sun, so he's having daytime, where could his grandma live? that would show that she's having nighttime while he's having daytime. So here's Sai, he's having daytime. Where might his grandma be? Go ahead and point to the globe, all the places where Sai's grandma could be, where she would have nighttime. Nice work. For this next part, you're going to need a buddy, just like I have my buddy Lavender here. Um, you could have a real person to talk to, too. You don't need a stuffy. Um, so what I want you to do is talk to your partner about what you would tell Sai about why it was daytime for him when it was nighttime for his grandma. So take some time and explain with your partner 
what you would say to Sai. Pretend your partner is Sai. Tell him what's going on. I get to put my glasses on for this part because it's time for us to write to Sai about the reason why it was nighttime for his grandma when it was daytime for him. So let's write together. You guys tell me what to write and I'll write it down, okay? So first of all, what could we tell Sai about the shape of the earth? What can we tell Sai about the shape of the earth? Hmm. What is it that I hear you guys telling me about the shape of the earth? <laughs> yeah, the earth is round like a ball. Let's go ahead and write that. Let's read it together. Earth, earth is shaped like a ball. Earth is shaped like a ball. So from all that research we did, we learned something about the places on earth that Sai and his grandma live, right? What did we learn about the places on earth that must be true in order for it to be daytime for Sai and nighttime for his grandma? What did we figure out that we didn't know before? I hear some people saying it. Yeah, Sai and his grandma live in different places on earth. So this is what we'll write to Sai and his grandma. You and your grandma live in different places on earth. let's read it all together you and your grandma live in different places on earth let's tell them a little more okay we've got more to write what could we tell Sai about why it was daytime for him when he talked on the phone to his grandma what do we need to tell Sai, just Sai, about why it was daytime for Sai? What must be true if it was daytime for Sai? It looks like we even have a little hint. Yeah, a lot of you were telling me. Let's write it. <sighs> it was daytime for Sai. Let's read it together. In the place where you live, daytime because why was it daytime because that place was facing the everybody sun in the place where you live it was daytime because that place was facing the sun Woo! one more so if Sai was facing the sun and it was daytime, what must his grandma be facing for it? Yeah, his grandma must be facing the stars, which means his grandma's not facing what? What is his grandma not facing? Yeah, she's not facing the sun. So let's write that down. Let's read it together. In the place where your grandma lives, it was nighttime because that place was not facing. Nice work. Let's read it all together. In the place where your grandma lives, it was nighttime because that place was not facing the sun. Woo! 
Now we're going to put all those parts together and read the whole explanation. You guys ready? The earth is shaped like a ball. Oh, let me restart that part because I want you guys to read along with me. You ready? The earth is shaped like a ball. You and your grandma live in different places on earth. In the place where you live, it was daytime because that place was facing the sun. In the place where your grandma lives, it was nighttime because that place was not facing the sun. Nice work. Let's look at our chart one more time and remember what scientists do. I've got our chart right back here, right back here. Scientists observe, they read, they record, they organize data, and they communicate. of all these things that scientists do, which one do you think we did today? Can you guys help Lavender and I out? What do you think we did today of all these things? What did we do the most of? Yeah, I'm hearing it. Communicate. We communicated by talking to each other and we communicated by writing that letter to Sai, right? You guys only have one last thing to do if you have the packet. Um, if you don't have the packet, you can still do this. You can just do it on a blank piece of paper. So we're gonna use this diagram to show our thinking about what we could say to Sai about where on earth he and his grandma live. So what I want you to do is discuss with your partner where on this globe you would put sigh and where on this globe you could put his grandma so talk about it first before you even grab your pencil and then you're going to put an x where you think sigh was and a circle to show where his grandma was okay and then down on the bottom right you can write about why you decided to make that x right what made you decide to put that x there and what helped you decide where to put that circle, okay? And I have my word wall words to help you with those. So let me show you my word wall words to end with. And then you'll have these words to go ahead and do this sheet after we leave each other. Can I do it? Oh, here they come. Oh my gosh, this is so much harder than it looks. There are your word wall words. The best I can get it anyway. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. See you next time.